And now, a page from our Sunday Morning Almanac. February 7, 2009, seven years ago today. The date aerospace scientist Jack Cover died at the age of 88. Now, even if you don't know his name, you surely know the name of his invention. It's an acronym inspired by the science fiction story Tom Swift and his electric rifle, which, with a tweak, becomes the word taser. The taser applies an electric shock in one of two ways, either through direct contact with the skin or at a distance through a pair of wired darts fired by compressed air. The idea of using electricity to incapacitate uh, at its core is, is frankly a, a beautiful and simplistic idea. Rick Smith and his brother Tom talked with David Martin for a 60 Minutes story uh, back in 2011. Uh, they founded Taser International in 1993 after acquiring the rights to Cover's invention. They even videotaped taser tests they did on themselves. He's going to tase a 72 year old woman. Videos of taser use on unwilling subjects have become YouTube sensations, including this one of a protester at a John Kerry event. Don't tase me, bro! At the University of Florida in 2007. And the controversy goes on. Amnesty International has recorded well over 500 deaths from U.S. police taser use since 2001, a figure the manufacturer and its defenders vigorously dispute. They argue that most of the deaths can be blamed on other causes, such as drug use or other factors. And with very rare exceptions, lawsuits brought by taser victims or their families lose in court. With police body cameras, now an expanding part of its product line, Taser International reported some $50 million in sales for the third quarter of last year. As co-founder Tom Smith told 60 Minutes back in 2011. We believe in what we are doing. We have changed the world. Very few people can say that. 